welcome, welcome, welcome to story time. Welcome, welcome, come right in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time. Welcome, welcome, let's begin. Welcome to story time here at Auburndale Public Library. I'm Miss Rhonda. I'm Miss Isabella. And it's Thanksgiving time. Ooh. It's next week. We're getting really close. Lots of yummy food. Yes, lots of yummy food and being thankful. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that today. In fact, our book today, who we want to thank Macmillan Publishing for allowing us to read, is called If Animals Gave Thanks. And it's written by Anne Whitford Paul, and the pictures are by David Walker. Oh, let's see what these animals are thankful for. If animals gave thanks when temperatures fell, rabbit would rumble a thank you purr for the spring in his hop and the thick of his fur. Squirrel would squeak for her tail she could puff up over her head, an umbrella a fluff. And Bear, sensing summer was over, would gratefully gather clumps of sweet clover. If animals gave thanks when wild winds whooshed, Crow would caw, caw for the great bowl of sky, his playground to swoop, loop de loop, and fly. Raccoon, he would chur, chur, thanks for her cub, and nuzz, nuzzle him, and rub, rubby, rub. Bear would be grateful for honeybee, leading him to the hive in the tree. If animals gave thanks when leaves fluttered down, frog would croak loudly, croak, croak, for her bug catch catching tongue and her lily pad boat. Beaver would yip for his tail like an oar, thankful it steers him pad paddling to shore. And Bear would sh shuffle, grateful to pick a basket of berries, pickety pick. Mmm, that sounds good. If animals gave thanks when branches turned bare, Turtle would click for his hard shell dome, thankful he never had to leave his home. Skunk would hiss, hiss for her stinky spray. Coyote would howl thanks for the bright sunny day. And Bear would paw in the lake, swish, swish, grateful to catch a gigantic fish. Then he grill that fish and busily bake berry pies and a honey cake. Then he would brew clover tea and invite his friends too. They chitter and chatter, chomp chomp, chewy chew. Then basking in the brisk fall weather, they give thanks for their bounty and for being together. That's what you do at Thanksgiving. You eat a big meal and then you lay around and you just talk and have fun with your family and friends. It's a great time. It is a great time. And you know what else you can do until Thanksgiving? Going on a picnic. Ooh, sounds really fun. Yeah. Let's, let's talk right, about going on a picnic. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. We're going on a picnic, got a pack of lunch. What should we bring to munch, munch, munch? Mm. What do we got, Rhonda? Well, I put in some grapes. Mm. Oh, a pear. Pears are wonderful. Apples. We learned about them last week. Yes. And then we have strawberries. Strawberries. Mm. Corn. Ooh. And 
like bear, honey. we like honey. Bears love honey and so do we. Yes. All right, ready for a picnic, ready with the lunch. Now we're ready to munch, munch, munch. Mm. <laughs> ready to munch, good munch, meal, munch, Rhonda. munch. Yes. And all right, we have got some turkeys for you guys. Turkeys. And there is one, two, three, and four, and one more, five. So we are going to count down. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> five little turkeys standing at the door. One waddled off, and then there were four. Four little turkeys sitting near a tree. One waddled off, and then there were three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off, and then there were two. So two little turkeys in the morning sun, one waddled off, and then there was, uh-oh, one. Just one. One little turkey better run away, mm. for soon it will be Thanksgiving Day. Oh, yes. Gotta have that turkey. Uh-huh. All right. And we have got another story for you guys. It is Be Thankful Pow Pow Fish. And it is by Deborah Deason. And let's see what Pow Pow Fish is up to. You ready, Miss Rhonda? Well, we got to get where those energy. fishes go. Let's see. We've got a little crab here. Uh huh. Thanksgiving is full of surprises. Yeah. And that includes fish and finding them. <laughs> I think they might be to your left. Okay. It's great. All right, Rhonda, you ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Fish's friends and family from afar and from next door are together at the table. And of course, there's room for more. They've all brought tasty dishes, which they're passing and they're sharing. The flavor of Thanksgiving is their gratitude and caring. Mr. Fish enjoys the bounty, but the very best part it's the happiness of feeling full, of thankful in his heart. Look at that big old turkey up there. <laughs> and that is Mr. Pop Pop's Thanksgiving. And what do we got next, Miss Rhonda? Well, we're going to sing a thankful song. <laughs> Let's be thankful for this day, for our friends and for our play. Let's be thankful, let's be glad for the food and things we have. Let's give thanks for you and me, for our home and family. All right. Hey. Now, we do have a couple things to tell you. Mm. We're in our last week of our Turkey Lurkey contest, Ooh. so you've got a few days to come in, mm -hmm. check out a book, and vote yes. for one of our pictures that um, some of the kids have sent in. We have some really great ones. Yes, so we do. <laughs> They're really cute. And we want to let you know that we will not have a program uh, recorded for next week, mm -hmm. But we're going to be ready December 3rd for Christmas. Yay. Yes. Love Christmas. Yes, we do. And so we're going to start having story time mm -hmm. Christmas, December 3rd. And we're also going to be starting a new story hunt in oh, December. Oh, that was really yes. fun last time. Yes, it was. So you'll be able to visit the parks again for Christmas stories mm -hmm. this time instead of Halloween. And we want you to just kind of, there's going to be some other things in December that we're excited about. So be sure in December, which is coming up so soon, yeah. be sure to pick up a newsletter at the library or check out our website, which would have the same information on it. So, Sounds that's all good. we have today. <laughs> all right. So, it's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to say a big hooray and then be on our way. It's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to say a big hooray and then be on our way. Bye. Bye.